All right, boys and girls, today we're going to be working on leads. You remember yesterday we saw a PowerPoint on different types of leads. So today we're going to take notes on those specific types that we learned yesterday. And I'm going to read you excerpts from some books and literature. And you're going to have to help me identify and categorize the types of leads. So because we're in fourth grade, we have four types of leads that we do. Let's get started. The first type of lead that we do in fourth grade is called a snapshot lead. And a snapshot lead uses sensory details. What do you want the reader to see, to hear, to smell, to taste, and to feel? So in these types of leads, you feel like you are exactly there. A good example of this lead would be if you were talking about a roller coaster ride and you were at the very top of that hill ready to swoop down. You would want your reader there seeing the same things you were seeing, hearing, all of those sensory details. So you use a snapshot lead when you want your reader to feel like they're there with you. <coughs> the second type of lead we use in fourth grade is called the setup lead. The setup lead is when you want to give your reader a clue to what's going to happen in the story and you use the five W's. What are the five W's, boys and girls? Who, what, when, where, and why. That's right. The third type of lead we use in fourth grade is called the talking lead. And the talking lead is when one main character and another main character have important dialogue. And I want you to make sure that you write this in capital letters and underline it. You have to have important dialogue that tells you about the story. You can't have silly dialogue. Okay. And with the talking lead, all of our quotation marks, rules and punctuations that go with that, you have to remember those. All right, let's do the fourth and final fourth grade lead. It's called the question lead. And with a question lead, the main character asks themselves an important question. Okay, they're not asking anybody else, they're asking themselves, and it has to be a question that's important to the story. Yes, Jaden. Um, it's like, um, is there any more types of leads? Are there more types of leads? Yes. And you will learn more types of leads when you go to fifth grade, but Four types of leads are just right for fourth graders. So I have storybooks, I have a nonfiction book, um, I have some novels, I have some realistic fiction, and I'm just gonna read the leads to some of these books, and you guys are going to tell me what of the four types of leads you think it is. Okay, the first one is called Athlete versus Mathlete, is Time Out. And I've picked all these books from our classroom library. Okay, here we go. You ready? My palms stung when I caught the ball. My sneakers squeaked against the hardwood as I pivoted left, looked to pass to someone, anyone. Nikki was covered, Paul couldn't shake Nate, and my brother Russ was at another emergency meeting for Masters of the Mind. Man, I couldn't wait for the state competition to be over. After the weekend, Russ and Marcus Matthews would get back to on the court 
and the pioneers could get back to normal. What do you think? Set up, snapshot, um, talking or question. What do you think, Luke? Snapshot. What makes you say snapshot? Because it says what, uh, like it says what he's looking at and what snapshot. Okay. Does anybody have any other opinion? What do you think, uh, Kawan? Set up. And why do you say set up? Because it's basically telling us what we are going to expect in the story. This one is a little bit of both. It starts out, the very first part of it is the setup, where the palms stung, and we have all these sensory details. I pivoted left, looking to pass, and then it goes into a little bit of a setup where it tells us what's going on. So very good. So you can, who was it that asked about how can you tell? Was that you, Tori? Okay, could you tell when the when it switched from setup to uh, snapshot to setup? Yeah, you could tell because one, you could feel what was going on. You could hear what was going on, the sneaker squeaking. And then all of a sudden, it was telling you where his brother was and what his brother was doing. So it switched from the sensory details to the five W's. A lot of authors use setup and snapshot together. Okay, The Secret Life of Trees. This is our one nonfiction book. Okay. Do you know the oldest living thing in the world? Can you guess the heaviest living thing on earth or the tallest thing alive? The answer to all these questions is a tree. What is that, guys? <laughs> what is that, Jalen? Yeah, that's a question lead. Now, did that sound more like a babyish? type of lead? Yes. A lot of times the question lead is the easiest to do. So it will make your story sound a little less sophisticated than the snapshot or setup lead. But it's easier to do. So if you just can't get another lead to go right, try the, try the question lead. Okay. Rules. Has anybody read this book? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what type of lead is in here. Come on, David. I let go of his sleeve, afraid I'll rip it. When he was little, I could pull my brother behind me if he didn't want to do something. But now David's eight and too strong to be pulled. What do you think? Dominique? Talking. There's definitely some talking in there, and there's a little bit of something else, too. Jaden, what do you think? Yeah, there's just a little bit of talking and a little bit of setup. So this author is using two combined. That's a little harder to do and a little bit more sophisticated. 